overnight going from we fight al-Qaeda to we fight gun owners and veterans and people that don't like the Fed. I mean, they've openly announced it. These guys, I don't think they realize that they're... They're going to be set up in the end, too, that, that, that they're the first group when the globalists win that are going to get set up and put in prison or bare minimum lose their jobs. A lot of them are going to get killed. I mean, I don't understand evil because once you give into it, it creates a climate that destroys everything and then nobody's safe. And don't these dumb yuppies realize that corruption isn't cute, that, that once the Constitution and Bill of Rights is gone, all the, the sharks and wolves get to come in and have their way with us, Bob? They haven't thought that far ahead, and many of them aren't capable of doing so. But I want to tell you something. I do a program <clears throat> once uh, a week and have for some years, which is all military, uh, for the most part, State Department, and um, but mostly retired and active military. And I got a letter yesterday, which isn't tomorrow's issue coming out under the U.S. section, and it's from a Marine. Marine. He says there's 25 of us here in New York City who are out of the core, but some of us are still uh, active. And, uh, uh, you know, we're listening to, you know, everything that you put on and trying to help us and stuff like that. But they know what's going on. Uh, my newsletter, as far as I know, is the most pirated newsletter in the world. It's all over Washington. It's all over the State Department. I don't know who is doing that. And how are they getting it? But they no, no. It's it. listen, it's Bob. Different. Bob, it's the radio shows. This show and the hundreds of other shows you do. Our books, our films, our DVDs, your newsletter. No, it's everywhere. They're knee deep in it. So I guess in a way we should celebrate that the NSA's got goons out harassing and arresting and setting people up in nine eleven truth because that means they're scared to death of us. That's right. And we got to keep on doing what we're doing, and you got to keep on supporting us out there and putting the word out that everybody in the country should be listening to Alex, and everybody should be listening to the forecaster. I mean, we've got the forecaster in Iraq and Afghanistan, and the, the, the high ranks of the military are going eight, trying to find out how it's getting there. And by the and way, that's not just you saying this. When they ordered Fox Phelan to attack Iran, he said no one resigned. So, I mean... It's really happening. We're going we're gonna to win. It's just it's going to be very painful. And if these people think they're smart telling us what they're doing, that's okay. We don't care. We know what they're doing. We've known for a long time. It just took a lot of people a long time to catch on. And the only reason most of them caught on is because of Alex Jones and people like you with your wonderful programs. So everybody, support the sponsors. Put the word out. Make sure everybody that you know listens to this program. Bob, I want to come back in the segment and then, the, and then five minutes in the next hour when we got Webster Tarpley, an uh, economist, coming on to talk more about all these issues. But speaking of sponsors, I wanted to briefly bring Ted Anderson up. Then we'll come back and talk to Dan, Chris, Derek, Mike, and a few others for Bob Chapman, the international forecaster.com, my site's infowars.com, and prisonplanet.tv just for two minutes before we go to break. I wanted to bring Ted Anderson up. I haven't had him on in about three weeks. And I always try to tell people, buy gold when it's down. But they don't listen. They only buy when it's high. But right now, Ted's bought it when it's low, and he'll sell it to you even as it's starting to go up a little bit today. But regardless, ladies and gentlemen, with the banks and the new stimulus package, let's talk about that in the next segment, and trillions more for foreign banks, and to give the Federal Reserve unlimited power, now is the time to get into silver and gold. And I wanted Ted to give the listeners, and this runs throughout Sunday, these specials end Sunday evening, Ted was telling me, on silver and gold, the best prices you're going to find out there, bar none. Ted Anderson, tell folks about uh, t the Friday specials that run through Sunday. Yeah, I'd be happy to. And anybody with a half a brain in their head knows that they'd have to get away from this fiat currency we have here in our nation. But right now I have the uh, Lakotas at $18.17. I mean, that is close to the lowest price I've ever been able to offer those coins for. Uh, and uh, and I, I can't say enough for them. It's a great buy. Uh, then I also have the Franks currently right now at 216 Last time I've been able to offer them, it was 222 So that gives you a little bit of an idea where they're at right now. Uh, British Sovereigns right now, 266 Last time I offered those, 271 So, you know, it gives you a, just right now at this particular time, 
I'm buying because I've been doing this for 30 years. I watch what's going on. The prices are low right now, but then you take a look at what they're doing to this nation and just consider the fact that this is all being financed by a printing press through a fiat paper system. You know darn well that the United States dollar is doomed. And so I really suggest if anybody has been sitting on the fence thinking about precious metals, now is the time to do it. And by the way, here's the L.A. Times today. Dollars, futures, reserve currency, and focus as world leaders meet. And then I have Reuters here where they've unveiled the new world currency coin at G8. But this isn't in U.S. news. It's in the foreign news. You would think this would be news, Ted. You sure would think so. And just yesterday, there was a huge article about gold in the Wall Street Journal. Uh, you know, there's... If the people need to pay attention to what's going on, this is a wonderful opportunity to get into the gold and silver prices at a corrected level. Uh, you know, we are close to August now, uh, September, October. Historically, gold is always up during those months. Now is the time to be getting in. There's no question about it. And like I said, I don't, I, you know, eight, I think $17.71 was the very lowest price I could ever offer Lakota for. And right now I have them at 1817, which is, you know, just a fraction away from that. And you've also got great deals on gold. The brokers will be there until midnight tonight. And then off and on, you can call them. They'll call you back. A lot of them are going to be there on the weekend right through to Sunday evening. Don't wait. 1-800-686-2237. Here's that number, 800-686-2237. Or MidasResources.com. Please don't forget, folks, that number, 800 686 Two two three seven. One more time. Eight hundred six eight six two two three seven. Thanks, Ted. Thanks, Alex. All right, Bob. Stay there. Call straight ahead.